Please join me in welcoming Congressman Heather Russell. Thank you very much, Bob. I appreciate that. And Kathy, thank you for being here. Thank you for your service to your country, and thank you for your continuing service in trying to get our soldiers the tools they need to do the dangerous missions that we ask them to do. About eight months ago, I was in, I was, uh, in my most recent trip to Iraq, and I spent a lot of time out with uh, uh, our forward operators, people who were trying to collect intelligence to keep U.S. forces safe in places like Ramadi. And, down along the Iranian border. These are enlisted Marines and, and Army folks who are trying to do a job, and Special Operations Forces who are looking every night for high-value targets, and they need to know immediately, is this the guy or is this the guy's brother? It's an important distinction, and they need good technology to be able to do it. Biometric technology has come a long way in the last decade, but you're going to take it the next step, and I figure that if Lumidime's system can work to tell whether uh, um, uh, thousands of visitors to, uh, to uh, Disney World are who they say they are, even if they have cotton candy on their fingers, that you guys can, uh, you can, you guys can probably handle it for the United States Army. Um, this appropriation is a $2 million appropriation. It was in the House version of the Defense Appropriations Bill. Um, we've still got to get it all the way through the process and through the Senate, and Kathy will be working with you to make sure that this stays on track to say, okay, this is a good technology. It looks like it might be robust enough to be able to use in a variety of conditions that our guys can can, that are they're operating in, and frankly, a lot of the abuse that 19-year-old soldiers put their equipment through. So let's try it out. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it adds to the toolbox that our soldiers need to keep themselves safe so that the 19 or 20 year old who's at the gate knows that this guy is the guy who works at the chow hall and he's not, he's not somebody who's pretending to be that guy and get access to the base. In the war on terrorism, particularly overseas, figuring out who, whether people are who they say they are is an important part of the challenge. That's a database challenge, but it is also a biometric identification challenge. And I thank all of you for your work uh, in making tremendous contributions to this nation's security. And I look forward to your next whiz bang uh, kind of idea. I was uh, on the radio this morning, Matthew called in, and uh, Pat Frisch was on the radio with me, and, and he said, he said, boy, there are some really smart people in New Mexico. Those guys are like scary smart. And, um, and they are. You guys are. You've done some, some wonderful, innovative things, taking technologies and techniques that were initially developed at the university and the national laboratory and giving them new applications uh, to, to meet the security needs of this country. So thank you for the work you do. I'll be interested, uh, interested to see how it works. And next time I'm back out with a two or three striper and the, who's trying to figure out um, uh, whether this guy is who he says he is, um, I'll hope to look down and see that they've got a Lumidine piece of equipment to help them. Good luck to all of you.